Alright, so today I'm doing an MUA one brown makeup tutorial on this look. So if you like it, stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to start with the MUA, what is it, Silent Disco Eyeshadow Palette. It's what it's called. So it's very colourful. Oh wow. It has a red. Oh my god, you don't understand my struggle with red. I try to look for red eyeshadows everywhere. No palettes seem to have them. And this has it, I didn't even realise when I got it. So it has like, I don't know why, but it has three different types of greens. Two blues, two oranges, two pinks, one red, one yellow, one purple. I rather more purples than three types of greens. But yeah, let's put this on. I don't know if you can see, but it's going on quite lightly. So I'm going to go in with the purple, that's right here, cheaper than pink but this would take a while to build up to get any colour, because with my MAC um, palette I put my brush straight in and bam, full colour, oh it's here, it's building up, I am loving this purple, not going to lie, it's just being a pain in the butt right now, not blending the way I want it to blend. This eye is going absolutely fine. So that's good. What is happening is I'm putting loads on and then blending it out and it's basically disappearing. I'm going to leave the eyes and just do the rest of the makeup and see how it looks at the end. Because maybe I just need to use it a bit more because it is my first time using it. So let's move on. Fill the little hairs in. Okay, definitely need to use the brush because this is coming out quite dark. And I actually needed a brow pencil, I was thinking of that, because I use one. It's like an eyeliner double-ended, one's black, one's brown. But the brown is like a reddy colour. So it, it makes my eyebrows just look reddish. Okay, so this is what a filled in brow looks like. And then I'm filled in. That just looks really dark. But real life is actually really natural, you can't even tell. Okay, so next we're gonna try is the MUA Lux Power Brow. It's the Sculpting Longwear Brow Gel. I've got this in dark brown. Can't really test it because I used it under pencil, but on its own. I think it looked pretty decent. Okay, what next? Maybe I should do the eyeliner. I'm going to use the eyeliner I already have because I've been really liking this. The new one I bought was the voluminous one and the precision, precision one, the filter. tip. I already have the eye define and the wet look eyeliner. Can I say this is so rubbish? I do not really like it because it does give you that wet look, it doesn't dry down and it's it can prone to crumble it's one of them ones and you look at it and think oh that massive eyeliner no that's the lid this is the, <laughs> the pen so it's only that tiny product you get anyway I don't know and you have to keep dipping it in because it can be very drying so I'm not a fan of the wet lip eyeliner. Why is this turning in? I don't know. What? Oh yeah, when I close it, a bit of product like squeezes in the lid bit, so it oozes out. Stick to what you know. Should I really be doing like eyeliner without doing foundation? You know what? Doesn't matter. And this is so easy to use because you can do a thick line, you can do a thin line. And there you go. There's the eyeliner. So, now I've curled my lashes, so let's put mascara on. Ooh, damn girl. Look at that curve. Do you see that? Do you see that? That curve of the brush. Flick of the wrist. 
this could be interesting. I don't. I normally use um, straight brushes. This feels very light, like you're barely applying anything. You don't have that clumpy feeling, that sticky feeling. I don't know if it... If I'm looking on this side, I don't think it makes them that much longer, but it just defines every lash. So now I've done the eyes, I'm quite happy with them. I'm going to move on to face. So, first of all, I'm going to put on some concealer. It's the foundation in natural beige. I have to say it like that because I can never say it. So let's try this by blending it in. Let me just pat it all in first. This hair is going to annoy me. And now let's blend. I'm so glad I got a good eye for makeup. That blends perfectly in. Oh, you can see that shine. My CC cream does that. It's so annoying. You have to put powder on to matte it. This coverage is amazing. It's high that cheek, that dark spot bit. And here. This is also the first impressions foundation. Look. Let's try this translucent press setting powder. This is a setting powder. Oh, well, there's a film on it, but it is completely white. But this is how I look. As you can see here, look at that shine. That's not even let your highlighter shine. That's like moisturizer. I don't want. Especially if you foundation and I've got moisturizer underneath. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so I'm going to do the under eye over foundation highlight. This isn't going how I want it, but honestly, I don't really care. Okay, so down the nose. Ready for the highlight? That blended up very good. So now for contouring highlighting. So this is the Bonds Perfection Dust All Over Face and Body to Bonds to Perfection or Used to Sculpt by Highlighting Brow, Cheeks and Collarbone. And this says Bonds in Powder that adds instant colour and definition. So don't really know what the difference between these are. I lost the lid. These are really bad for the lids. So I hope the owner realises. Okay, this is one I don't really like. I have a love-hate relationship because it doesn't really give colour. And it takes you a lot. Whereas the sleek one, as soon as you put one brush in it, bam, there's colour. Whereas this, you have to do a lot to get any colour. So maybe I should try the new one and see if that's any better. So you can see it a tiny bit. Why does it look like I've got a highlighter on? It's that damn foundation. <laughs> Who needs highlighter when you've got MUA's foundation? Okay, that looks really good and really strong on camera, but trust me, in real life, it is barely even showing. Okay, there's some on the forehead. open this one to see if it's any better oh wow that's a lot of <laughs> damn that's a lot of color talk about sharp contour okay let's try this why is it going on like a blush color Now that's what I'm talking about, a sharp contour 
when it comes off like that on the brush. So I think this is going to be my new product because this doesn't really do that much. It does give you that natural contour so if you're into that, I'll say buy it. But if you're not into that, it doesn't do anything for you. It's kind of a waste. Okay, enough of that. Okay, so that's the contour. Looks like I really highlighted but I haven't. So I'm going to use a liquid one and then I'm going to start with the powder one. Okay, from what I tried in the store with the tester, a little bit goes a long way because I put a lot and then it's even harder to blend loads of it. So definitely only start putting a little bit on. I do this with my finger. And then blend it out. Actually, I just should do it with that brush because it's got highlight on it. Damn! <laughs> that highlight though. <laughs> okay, put some on my nose. I need to blend this out because oh wow. You can see the gods. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave that side and I'll do this side. So you definitely don't need, you can't even see. You just need like a tiny, even smaller than a pea size, just a tiny dot. I'm just going to pat this in, there's no way I'm going to try and blend it with a brush. Highlight makes me very happy. Okay, so now I'm using the Undress Your Skin powder version of a highlight. Nose highlight. Get it, girl. Keep this bow high. <laughs> now for the other cheek highlight. So this is a before, and then this is an after. And there it is. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Now we're coming to the end of the video. The lips. Okay, I'm having a tricky decision because I bought the velvet lip lacquers, but then I've also got the lip gloss that matches your skin tone. This is perfect pink. So it's like, what should I use? I've got Kooky, Reckless, Moxie, Dash, and then the Lippy Chancer. I can make a video of all the other lipsticks, but I probably won't with this, so let me try this and see what perfect pink I come out with. Now the sign is hating me because I'm looking like a ghost again. But the highlight's the puffin' no. I've come close. So this is the highlight contour. The eyeshadow. The purple is a lot lighter. Don't think you can even see the yellow. The eyeliner, the mascara, the brows. See? doesn't look that bad so I'm coming close so you can see the lip product yeah at the bottom it just says PH lip gloss so let's undo this so this is MUA Luxe get some more Okay, I'm not seeing a colour change, so I don't know how long this takes to work. Tell me if you think it works, but I don't think it works. It just looks clear. I can't see if it's pink. Okay, guys, so I think I'm going to wipe this on and then try the lip liner with the lip lacquer just to see because. Honestly, I don't think their lip gloss worked. Okay guys, I've taken that off and it did have some pinkiness to it on the tissue paper I used. But honestly, let me know if you've actually used that and it's worked for you. Because I think I need to use it a bit often just to see. But for me, in the first impression, it didn't really do that much for me. I'm not really a lip gloss person anymore. 
I was in high school, but now I'm just like, ugh, it's sticky, horrible. It just comes off easily. <laughs> I'm not into that. That's so weird. So this is when we go right, you can put it as a lit stick. That is <laughs> lip liner. It's very sticky. Oh my god, this smells amazing. Oh my god, everything you'd want in life. It's very sweet. Not like max vanilla sweet, but sweet, sweet. <laughs> Makes so much sense. Now with reckless velvet lip. Let's see how this looks. Oh, it actually fits because this is just a tiny bit darker. So if you ever want to know what lip liner to wear, wear red alert with reckless. I don't even need to hardly dip it back into the tube. So this is what reckless looks like on the lips. So that is it for this video. This lipstick actually, I like. It's actually dry down now, so it's not shiny anymore. Okay guys, I'm so bad. There's a product I forgot to use. I thought especially to set this whole video, so I didn't have to use my one. So it could be an all brand one, and I forgot. It is the Emmy Ways Pro Base Mattifying Fixing Spray. Fixing, mattifying, fixing. I guess this is mint quick powder. But I'm using this as a setting spray to set this all in. So let's have a go. Well, at the back it says mattifying oil control, microfine mist for easy application. So, oh yeah, basically fix your powder. Keep your skin looking perfectly matted all day with this lightweight mist. Ensures your makeup holds in place while looking oil free. Okay, so I can use this as a finishing spray. So it holds it in while looking oil free, which I need because this foundation is very oily. Oh my god, that smells amazing. That smells so. Oh, that smells so good. The conclusion of Emmy Way the products smell amazing. So if you like a good smelling product, they're cheap and cheerful, so they work. Some products in the line are better than others, like their bronzers. Cheaper is the cheap one is better, which is a bit. How does that happen? The eyeshadow. Okay, I haven't tried their neutral palettes or any other palette. I've only tried this one, and I know they do a bigger one. And I haven't tried any of the colours, so I'm not gonna really comment on this because I haven't really tried it to test it out. But from the two colours I did try, honestly the purple needs a bit of work because it looks really dark in the palette but comes out really light on the face and it doesn't blend well. So the yellow isn't that good either because you see before it goes on really bright, but then it dulls down really quickly to barely there. It just looks like it was free pan, basically what I'm saying. Not happy. Eyeliner, love it. Don't love the wet look one. Mascara. It did very well. It's not one that will like make your lashes really long, but it will make it show. And you can still feel when you touch them. They're not clumpy. Some cheap mascaras make your eyes so clumpy. Brows. I just have to get used to it because I'm not really a brow person. But, for the product so far, it's very natural, it actually went on very well. And for a gel, I use Boohoo's one and it makes your eyebrows hard. It still feels natural, the eyebrows. Overall, I am very happy with this look, as you can probably tell. I'll definitely go out in this, it's not, it didn't turn out bad. I'll definitely walk the streets in it. I found everything good, I loved everything apart from the eyeshadow colours. I will try more. But I might put it in an Instagram post or whatever, if I liked it or not. But from what I gathered, not a fan of the eyeshadow, but everything else is on point and I love it.
Till then, I'll see you guys later.